Hey, it's Golden Buddha here, back with some more RPG horror stories for your listening entertainment. Today we have a story about a wizard who just, he just couldn't stop fireballing everyone. Roll post. I was a happy little DM. After a year-long break, I finally had the chance to playtest my homebrew setting and system with a group again. We had a Meisling Thief, a Human Hunter, and a Wizard, dedicated to the Fire Spirit. They saw some strange people walking through the town in the middle of the night. Hunter and Wizard wanted to see where they were going and check if it was part of the mystery they needed to solve. So pretty low stakes stuff. So Hunter sneaked like a pro. Wizard crit failed, almost like he wasn't made for sneaking. A little extra note, he wanted his wizard to be 2 meters tall and 95 years old, always wearing a black hooded cloak. So even in a normal situation, he looked out of place and creepy. But it was a crit fail, so guards notice him sneak, or failing at it, and go up to him. They just friendly asked him what he was doing. Wizard, I cast fireball at one of the guards! I explain again in detail how low stakes the situation is. No one is forbidden to go out at night, they did nothing wrong, it's just a little side thing to spice up a crit fail. But he insists, arguing it would be bad role playing to back off now. As unreasonable as it was, he said it, there was no game term of stopping him. He wouldn't change his mind. Fireball it is. Guard on fire. Second guard rings the alarm, so the smell of unnecessary combat filled the air. So I wanted to check on Hunter first, what he wants to do. Hunter, I'm going to sneak on, see if I can catch up with the other individuals. Wizard, no, we are in this fight together. Stay with me and fight. You started it, you deal with it. Well then, I cast Fireball. And yes, the target was his own teammate. I never knew the Hunter's player's eyes can open that far in shock. Well, combat it is. Wizard needed to roll perception to notice the Hunter sneak off, but there was no stopping the shit show. Not even with dice. Guards attack first. Then Wizard fire blasts his teammate. Hunter uses the rest of the combat to just run. Me. Wizard, you have downed one guard. You know they sounded the alarm. What do you do? Crazy me thinking he would also just run or try to calm things down. Answer was Fireball. He could cast two more, so he did, completely killing one guard, getting arrested in the process, and banished from the city. Which was great having a party solving a town mystery with one trick pony thief, an injured and pissed off hunter, reasonably so, and a wizard who was forbidden to enter the town again. And that is how the group slowly fell apart. Just for context, it wasn't a session zero or first session incident either. Until that point, the wizard didn't do a whole lot, so we were not aware what he was capable of. He also wasn't the player to admit he made a mistake or that he misunderstood a situation. Even making fun of how he blasted Hunter for no reason and had a blast stealing spotlight with stupid things he does while being banished. He was the first one we then kicked after he showed no remorse or acceptance for in-game consequences. After that, we were too small of a group to continue. End post. I'm sorry your game fell apart, but you know, that's what happens when wizards start casting fireball. It's the best spell. We've already established this. It's the best spell. Press the digitation and fireball. Two best spells in the game. That's it. But yeah, that's really all I have to say on this. You guys let me know what you think about this story in the comments below, and please like and subscribe for more content. And as always, this is Golden Buddha telling you to stay enlightened and stay safe.